Hello and welcome back everybody. So uh, we saw how to create an encounter, how to document a new visit and uh, now we will see how you will be able to enter the fee sheet, generate a claim or print out a HICFA form and send it to the insurance companies. So, so far um, we have seen all that. Before you start billing, we have to make sure one that we have entered the CPTs and ICD codes that we want to use in our billing and two uh, the clearinghouse information that we are going to use. So for the clearinghouse information you go to administration and under practice we call it the X12 partners and you can add a new partner by clicking here and I have already added Office Ally which is a free uh, clearing house you can go and register yourself and all this information will be given to you by them and you enter that <coughs> and next one is under services is where you enter all your CPTs, ICD-9 codes and all that stuff uh, for advanced users they can import all the ICD-9 and CPT codes into the system for the others they can go here and manually enter it now uh, for example you can edit one of these and you will see CPT-4100040 the ex expanded description whether it is active if it is reportable for reporting purposes and you can enter all that. There are two kinds of uh, amounts that you can enter depending on the situation uh, whether you want it to be sent to the insurance or cash it depends on what categorization you want you can enter uh, the fees here. Uh, you can search by going here and you will get everything starting with that So this is how you do it. How do you add more uh, kinds of fee structures? Right now we have standard and cash. Again that is under the list which we told you in earlier videos that the list is very very important and whatever comes with the system should not be messed around with. Under price level you can add whatever additional ones that you want. For example I'll add and when you go back to services that one also comes up <coughs> so once we have entered the ICD or the CPT or uh, both these things you can go back and start entering the data As you can see there are certain validation checks, new encounter, this is the fee sheet, under administration you will get the fee sheet, you can select 
what kind of visit it was and the CPT automatically comes. If the CPT is not there you can go here and search for it. If you know at least a part of it, it will show up here. If the price was already entered in the services it should show up otherwise you can enter the price here. Now you need to have a diagnosis to justify the procedure that you have done so we'll have to enter the ICD-9 so same way as you did earlier and then you can justify it according to how you want it to. If you want to justification control and click again. Make sure you have all the provider information, the rendering provider, in this case it's all the same. And if you want to add a copay you can add it here automatically the copay that is entered in this insurance information has come up here so now you have entered the fee sheet and you can go on doing that for all the patients that has been seen on that same day now once it is done at the end of the day or you know whatever is your interval for filing the claims you can go under fees there is a billing we call it the billing manager. Now you can filter based on a lot of parameters that are given here by date of service or based on the date of entry or the date of billing what kind of claim it is or by the patient's name by default it will show you those patients we have seen today so right now I am only going to look for what are unbuilt and I click on update list it will come up here now the one in red means that there are missing information so for instance he doesn't have any insurance so we are not going to use that claim so in this case Nazim her primary insurance is ready. We select the clearing house. If the, if the clearing house was made as part of the insurance information when you entered the insurance information, that will automatically show up here. So now what you do is you can, if you had hundreds of claims, you can select all or you can just select one that you want to select. This is a select all option. And now what I'm going to show you is three things. You can generate an X12 file, you can, which is the electronics format, the text file which some clearinghouses accept, and a HIC file. So this is an X12 file. So once you have this, you save it and you can go to your clearing house and upload this file. This is the same as uh, an X12 file, it's a text file which is more readable and thirdly the HIC file for paper claims. So this is how it will look like. So all you have to do now is to print it out and send to the insurance company. So that's how you will take care of the basic billing, generating a claim, generating an X12 file and sending it to the clearinghouse. Hope you liked it and thank you very much.